Hi guys, Marcin is here and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create simply levitation effect. It's completely basic manipulation and I hope you enjoy. It's of course my final result and and I decided to create something like this for the request one of my viewers. And I think it's interesting idea to practice your manipulation skills. At the beginning we need minimum two images, the first image is of course uh, it's of course the person i find this it's of course fistock from deviantart i link her in the description if someone is interested in and the second picture is this room also i link it in the description i was looking for something different but uh, it's also okay and at first of course we need to make the selection using pen tool so i zoom it and start to make selection Now click right and then make selection for the radius about 3 pixels and OK. Now change your tool and click right and layer via copy to copy this part. And OK, you get something like this and I think it's OK. And OK, right now I want to change my image size because it can be too large for my project. And now using move tool drag this to to our uh, room layer. It looks like this. I made some mistakes here. It's not a huge problem. You can clear it using uh, eraser tool if you want. And now you can change the position of your model. Click right and then free transform. And I do something like this. It looks more interesting for this type of manipulation. Okay, and the first part is done. So right now we need to make some color correction and add some other effects. At first, I need to desaturate this layer. Uh, so press Ctrl, click on this layer, and go to Hue Saturation. I set saturation at minus 60. It looks better right now. And also, and also I want to add some dreamy effect. So duplicate my layer of model. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur and set a radius about 20, 25 pixels. Then change blend mode to screen and set opacity about 30%. And as you see, it looks much better right now. I want to clear this a little here. Because I made some mistakes, as I said. Okay. And also, I can't add some shadows right here because my room is too short. Uh, but if your background layer is okay, you can add some shadow, of course. And to add this, press Ctrl, click on this layer with model, go to Hue Saturation, the Saturate it uh, on Max, and Lightness also. And just drag your shadow under your model. As you see, I can't add some shadow because this shadow should be right here, I think. So it's not so good idea. But of course I need to add some other effect. Uh, I want to add some I want to add more dreamy effect to this uh, image. Uh, dreamy effect looks perfectly with this type of manipulation. So create new layer. Select color black and white right here. 
go to filter, render and select clouds. Change blend mode to screen and opacity only about 15% and also on this layer you can add some blur. For example, Gaussian blur about 40-45%, not too much. And as you see, I think right now it looks much better. And at the end, as always, it's time for some color effect. So at first I add some photo filter. For example, color green looks nice with this, I think. Okay, density about 25%, it's uh, quite okay. And of course at the end, almost as always, curves. I need to add some shadows, make it a little darker. And some lights, but just a little. It looks, it looks better right now. And also some color correction. I think the color, this yellow green color, looks nice with that. And okay, as you see, it was very simple. And even if you are a beginner, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Thank you for watching, guys. Please leave a comment if you have any question or any opinion or whatever you want. And see you in my next Photoshop tutorial.